Hey everybody, 49 M. So I had somebody leave a comment under one of my YouTube posts. Um, the the video was something about like healing, right? Or healing journeys or something like that. And then they commented and said, Well, not everybody, um, not everybody needs to heal. Well, I would rephrase that. I don't I'm gonna I'm this is my unpopular opinion. This is just what this is, right? Check it out. We're about to get surgical with this shit real quick. Boom. Everybody doesn't need healing. If if that's not something you feel like you need to do, then you don't need to do it. If you feel like everything that you okay, everything is okay, then that's a beautiful thing. You are blessed. I'm not saying everybody needs it. However, most people do because what happens is whatever childhood you had, whatever teenage years you had, with the trauma is trauma happens during that time. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wasn't there to take you to the fair, whatever the case may be, whatever. If you went through trauma as an adult, it manifests itself into every area of your life. And if you don't deal with your problems, guess what? <laughs> your problems are going to deal with you. That's just how that goes. And that's for everybody. So that's between you and your Jesus. If you don't need any healing, that's cool. But I would say this, though. She also said that some people are on a fake healing journey. OK, that's also between them and their Jesus and whoever they believe in. I will say this, though, and this is for the people that decide that you want to heal from whatever, whatever person, place, thing, tragedy, trauma, whatever it is. Right. Check it out. Before you start this journey, there's a key question you have to ask yourself. And that's something that I've asked myself. And I noticed that I don't know if other people have asked themselves this, but I'm going to drop this gym on y'all real quick. Right. And this is what you notice about other people as well. But let's stay focused on yourself because other people's problems are what? Not your business. Exactly. So check it out. Boom. We about to get surgical. If when, when you decide that you want to go on any type of healing journey, that's what you want to do. The first and most paramount question you have to ask yourself is what are, are you willing to give up? What made you sick? Whew, we about to get surgical. I'm going to repeat that. If you want to go on any type of healing journey, any type of I need to change me, I need to be a better me, whatever your motivation is, it is whatever it is, it is. My thing is this. You have to ask yourself, what are you willing to give up? What made you sick? Because if you're healing for something, you ain't well. And people be like, oh, I'm healed. You can be healed from COVID, the flu, a gunshot wound, a goddamn, uh, 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 somebody stabbing you. You, you get, you get healed from things like that. Healing is an ongoing thing. And why I say it's an ongoing thing is like, check this out. If you ever go, if anybody's ever been to a therapist, right? The first thing they tell y'all is what? What are your coping skills? I have to cope in it, in it, in it, in it, coping skills. <laughs> and people think that coping skills gets rid of the problem or that therapy gets rid of the problem. It doesn't get rid of the problem. What it does that was ever, whatever, whatever's heavy on you or whatever's in your frontal lobe, whatever you're always thinking about, whatever's constantly on your mind and manifesting this way in your life in a negative way, the, that voice or that heaviness, the heaviness gets lighter and lighter. The voice gets lower and lower and lower and lower to where you can't even hear it. Because in a lot of the times when we're healing from something, the problem is so loud that you can't even get, you can't even control your thoughts because the problem is so loud. But the coping and the therapy helps you to make it quieter and quieter and quieter. But before you embark on any healing journey, ask yourself, are you willing to give up what made you sick? Because if you're not willing to give up what made you sick, you're never going to be able to start your healing journey. And that doesn't make it fake. It just makes it, you ain't there yet. You ain't, uh-uh, not the emails, Father God. You're not there yet, and that's okay. No, so healing ain't for everybody. If you're not willing to give up what made you sick, it ain't for you. All right? For tonight, you.